Well, no, normally when people find out that I take care of pigeons, first question asks, what are you seeing on nasty ass things? Uh, my name is Vinny, Vinny Otterbridge. I'm from Spanish Harlem, New York. I've been flying birds ever since I was about eight years old. So you're talking about 1962, 63, somewhere around there. I, I've been affiliated with birds. What it takes is like what you have to do to raise a family, okay? It's the same strategy, the same method, okay? Your kids get sick, you gotta nurture them. You gotta give them medicine, okay? You gotta make sure their room is clean. They place of housing is clean. So all that plays a part. So again, I had to take, a, take another step forward, okay? And understanding the maintenance of the birds. Because again, like I said, in the beginning when I first started with birds, it was just, I got birds and I'm flying birds. I didn't realize birds get sick. What do you do when they get sick, okay? So I had to come up with a solution. I had to find out, what do I do? So I learned how to medicate the birds. They had different illnesses that hits the birds, different uh, viruses. So on that note, once a year, I shoot my birds up with medicine. I shoot them up behind the neck. Uh, I, I give them different kind of vitamins. And they water can. Okay, instead of putting bleach, I put apple cider vinegar. It kills more germs. Because most germs, most diseases come from the water can. Okay, anytime your bird gets sick, it's coming from the water camp most of the time because all the birds are sticking their beak in there, their mouths in there. If the bird has canker, you know, then it's possible it's coming through the water camp to pass it on. These over here, these are Canadians or people call tiplets. Okay, and if you're gonna, you're gonna notice that most of them are basically the same color and look alike. They consider this, they call this a light print, tiplet. Some people call them Canadians, but if you notice, they all basically look alike. Basically the same pattern, same color, and everything else. And these guys here, they fly. Normally when we let them out in the morning, they give us maybe about four or five hours flight time, which is good. A lot of guys don't like to mess with these guys because they fly too much. Not only that they fly too much, but they disappear on you. You know, some guys can't handle that. But again, that's what we breed them up here for. On tiplets, the record is like 18 hours, 19 hours flight time. So what we're trying to do, not do as good as it, but somewhere around there, at least about 10, 11, 12 hours as far as flight time. And the reason why, we're trying to get them to Brooklyn. And getting them to Brooklyn, that means they got a long way to come home. And we need them to be as strong as possible as far as as many hours as they can as far as flight time to make it home. And like what we do with these particular birds, my partner comes in maybe three, four times out the week and he takes them either down 138th Street or even towards Webster. He takes them here, takes them there. And the reason why he does that, like I said, we're trying to get them ready for Brooklyn. Uh, well, in Brooklyn, what it is, you have a lot of guys that have birds in Brooklyn. So it's bragging rights. You know, who got the smartest bird? Who birds can make it home? Okay? And not only that, but make it home, but coming through, you know, I don't know if you guys remember the movie, uh, The Warriors. You know, you know how, they, how they had to make it home back to Brooklyn? Well, that's how the birds had to make it back to the Bronx. They got the falcon, got the hawk, they got other bunches that they have to avoid to make it home. So it's a struggle. You know, and if the birds can do that, then that shows intelligence. You know, that means that you got a good bird. Not only a good bird, but a good looking bird. So that plays a factor. You know, my love for birds grew a lot. And not only that, but I went to another level. Now I'm showing birds. And in the process of showing birds, I'm winning shows. And winning shows, I have, as, as they consider, the best Danishes on the East Coast. So that's, that's a thrill. You know, because I've been sweeping all the shows, the Canadians, 
Connecticut show, Jersey show, the New York show, the upstate shows. I've been sweeping all these shows with, with my birds. These are first and second place trophies for the international show up in Connecticut during November. All right, on, on that show, I took first, second, and third in young bird, in young hen. I took first, second, and third in young cock. I took first, second in old hen, and I took second and third in old cock. So I did pretty good. Be hundreds, hundreds of birds in the show. Yeah, so it's not it's just like, I'm just taking five birds, five birds in the show, and you win it, no. It's not like that. And the shows consist of as a beauty pageant. That's what it consists of, right? They're judging the birds by its color, its condition, his eyes, his tips, no bugs, everything. So it's like I said, it's like a beauty pageant. So the bird gotta be perfect, you know, in order to take first place. Not only first place, but best bird will over show. Oh yeah, you know, just like anything in life, you know what I mean? You have a dog. It's a reflection of your character. You have kids, it's a reflection of your character. You have birds, it's a reflection of your character. So how you train or how you act, what you do with the pays a factor. You don't want to have a bunch of birds every other day somebody calling you, oh, I got five on you, I got 10 on you. You don't want to hear that. You know, you don't want to hear you, you, What you want to hear, yo, man, I had your birds hooked up and I couldn't drop them. That's what you want to hear. See, that's exciting. That's, that let you know, yo, you can't catch them. You know, that let you know that your birds are smart. That let you know that you did your job. From when I start, got started with birds and to today, it's a hell of a difference. You know, when I first got started, it was just flying birds. As today, it's about the maintenance of the bird, the taking care of the conditioning of the birds. You know what I mean? The medication of the bird, the health of the bird. See, years ago, I didn't know all this. But see, today, see, again, like I said, you know, dealing with birds gives you a sense of responsibility. You know, it, it puts you in a positive attitude, positive mind where, again, the birds can't take care of themselves, so they need you. So, like I said, it makes you a better person because now you start caring. Where we were kids, when we were young, you kill a bird, throw rocks at birds. See, now we're nurturing birds, bringing them back to life, and that's a blessing. You know, so like I said, you know, I've been doing it for pretty long, and I'm retired now, and this is what I do. I, I come up to my roof. I'm on my roof every day. You know, every day I'm on my roof. I get here about 12, 1 o'clock each day. You know what I mean? And uh, I feed, I take care of all coops up here. I feed and water all the birds up here, even though I have partners. But see, I'm the only one that's retired. So on that note, my partners come up in the daytime, they fly the birds, they do a little something, something, but they depend on me in the afternoon to come up to make sure that they fed and watered and locked up. Well, what I'm looking for, I'm looking for the eyes, the kill, you feel for the kill, you know, feel how strong it is, how muscular it is, the conditioning. So you're looking for a lot of things. It has to have 10 flight tips, 12 tail tips. So everything got to be right. Can't, can't be no bugs in the bird, okay? Can't be no holes in the, in the feathers. Any holes in the feathers is indicate that it had bugs. They consider this as a model, tipler. And if you notice, because they call it a model, because they got different colors in it. It's not like the ones I just showed you, basically white and blue tips. Here on his wings, he had multiple colors. So they consider this as a model. See, I like them like this. And this one here is also a tippler, but also they consider this as a grizzle. And the reason why they consider it as a grizzle is because of the bars. If you notice the bars on the wings come across the wing, that's what makes him a grizzle. Okay, so even though he's a tippler, they got different breed of tipplets. Okay, because you see the pattern on this one. See that? All white. See, this is what they call a light print. Again, you know, just like an athlete, you know, you know, good looking guy, good looking girl, you're great in what they do, this and that. So the same thing with the birds. You know, you want them to look good. And not only that, when they smart, when they can come home like that and they look good, people pay you for them. Just like a racehorse, a thoroughbred. You know, something look good, look nice, smart. You don't have to worry about it. Yo, let it go, it's going home. People want that. And so that's what these birds is about. Well, I've, I retired from New York City Department of Parks and Recreation. I did 28 years with them. As far as the hawks, falcons, pigeons, everything. All day long, I was around animals and this and that, you know. So uh, 
Like I said, uh, I worked 28 years with the parks, and while I worked, I still had the birds, took care of them. And it was a blessing, and I'm retired now, and it's even sweeter. It every, get, day every day, every day. But you got quite a few guys out here doing it. You got quite a few. I, I can't give you a number, but you got a lot of guys out here that's doing it. You know what I mean? So, you know, and again, you know, everybody is into birds for different reasons. Okay, you know, you know just like there's three partners up here. Each of the partners up here is, is flying birds for different reasons. Okay, see, me, I like what I fly, you know what I mean? I fly because I like to relax. My partner over here, Ruben, he likes to fly, he likes to check his birds up. Okay, he, 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 like, he likes the thrill of people telling, yo, I don't want to buy your birds because I can't keep them. They won't stay here. They're too smart for me. See, again, like I said, everybody flies birds for different reasons. My partner, Wayne, he's just getting into it. So Ruben is teaching them right, teaching them right, you know? He's got them in the floor and checking the birds up, taking them here, taking them there, taking them, you know. So it gives you bragging rights. And like, like I said, you don't have to worry about nobody catching them. See, again, you know, what people don't know, they don't like, they don't understand. So you know what? They don't want to be bothered. First thing they say, yo, keep those things away from me. But again, you know, it's when people do learn, right, how good pigeons are, how sweet they are, and... Uh, I say, uh, but you can learn from them, you know, because again, I had my children, I had other kids actually watch eggs hatch. This is educational. This is all educational. You know, I mean, to see a bird drop an egg, to see the egg actually hatch, to see the youngster grow, you know, for people to see this, you know, then, then their attitude changes. Oh, those ain't nasty birds. Oh, they ain't stupid birds. Oh, they ain't this. Just give yourself a chance and, you know, it'll work. You know, so, again, most people that I run, I kind of run into that don't understand birds, first, first thing they say out their mouth, what are you seeing on nasty birds? You know, and first thing, my response, I see enjoyment. You know what I mean? I see myself relax. You know, because again, those nasty birds or those pigeons, you know, I sit back, if I have issues, I sit on the roof, figure out my issues, figure out my problems. You know what I mean? Again, it's like looking at a fish tank. You're in your own world. So this is Tar Beach, this is heaven. Uh, you know what? Being a kid, seeing the birds in the street, and back in the days when I was a kid, they had, they had coops all over the place. I grew up in the project, so looking out the window, I saw what I seen on, on top of the rooftops was coops. So on that note, you know, you get a little curious and, and I liked it. Then not only that, but you know, a lot of guys that's in the birds had issues when they were kids. Okay, so messing with the birds, you know, it calms you down. Give you a sense of responsibility. You know, because again, you take on, you, you, you deal with the birds, they can't do for themselves, so you have to do for them. So it's, they depend on you. So again, and all these guys and myself and people thought that you're this, you're that, you're not this, you're not this, but when it comes down to birds, see, that helps you out in life. You know, because again, you become responsible. You know, you start doing what you have to do, you start taking care of them. And in doing so, yo, you start opening your eyes, you start taking care of yourself. You know, and on that note, people changes. You know, and so like, birds help some, some it, 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 it destroy, but in my life, birds help me. You know, you know, it got me where I'm at today, you know what I mean? It calms me down, gives me something to do. You know, and that's important in life, you know, especially when you're a family person. You know, because again, you need something, you need a getaway. And this is it, and it's all positive. And that's the good thing, it's all positive. Well, when it's all said and done, then I will either sell them, leave them to my partner, Someone that would take care of them, you know, and the good thing is if I can't take care of them no more, at least I can go to a friend's roof, you know, and, and, and sit up there with him and reminisce and, you know, help him out, even though I don't have to do anything, <laughs> you know what I mean? But words of advice, I, I, I've been here over 50 years, I'm not going to, birds is my life, you know, birds helped me through life. If it wasn't for birds, I wouldn't have made it through 28 years with the city, because no telling where I would have been. So everything's a blessing. Everything happened for a reason. Everything is like a chain reaction. You know what I mean? So because of this, this happened. Because of that, that happened. This and that. And all, and, and all the things that happened have been good things. 
okay? You know, I mean, I could never really say I had bad experience on the roof, okay, with the birds. Because again, when I'm up here, it's all about positive. There ain't nothing negative running through my head, you know? Because again, I've been there, done that, and this is why I'm on the roof. You stay out of trouble, you're on the roof, you're not in the streets. You don't have to worry about this, you don't have to worry about that. All you have to concern yourself about is taking care of your birds.